So before we start our tutorial, I would like to tell you that my logo animation masterclass course is available on Udemy. Link is available in the description, so you can do check it out now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs, and in today's video, we are going to create this amazing text animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation width. I'll choose 1920. Height is 180. Frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second long. And background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title save action. Now you can type whatever text you want. For the font, I'm going to choose Oswald and I'll delete this stroke. The only thing I want over here is color. And color you can choose whatever you want. Let's select our text tool and type our text. I'm going to type typography like this. Okay, select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size. Go to the character menu and increase, uh, uh, increase the distance between these alphabets up to let's say 70% or let's say 100 totally like this okay then select this and lock this layer this is gonna be our reference layer now i'm going to select my text tool and i'll type text t over here like this okay select this text press s for scaling option and I, uh, for this text also i'm going to choose 124 scale like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and for the color i'm going to choose black color and for the stroke color i'm going to choose black color also and stroke width i am going to choose uh, one pixels if you are a motion designer then there is one common task in your field and that is logo animation nowadays every client want logo animation for their brand but it is really difficult to find out how we should animate their logos and what kind of animation we should use to deliver a proper output in this course i am going to teach you five types of logo animation methods which you can use for your logo animation projects each type contains at least two logo animation videos so you can practice it along with them and it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or advanced after effect user this course is for everyone so without wasting any more time let's get started okay then select our selection tool and i'm going to move this text over here like this okay so this is going to be my first text then select this text, hit Ctrl D, move this over here by holding Shift and type Y. Select this, hit Ctrl D, let's move this over here and let's type P and try to adjust their position. Again, select this, hit Ctrl D, press V, move this over here by holding Shift and type O. Select this, hit Ctrl D, move this over here, type G. Again, so basically we need to follow this procedure for all alphabets. So I'll do a little bit fast. okay so my all alphabets are clear now let's make this fit and i'll delete this reference layer which is this layer i'll delete this now what we need to do over here select this text so right click go to create shift from text and delete this text layer we need to follow this procedure for all of this text so first i'll select all of this text and i'll create and shift from text so basically i'm going to convert each and every one of them into the shape layers like this right click create shift from text we need to do this procedure for all of these alphabets okay so all of the alphabets are in a shape layer now 
so now i can delete those text layers we don't need that anymore make sure to select only text layers and hit delete okay now let's select all of this text in the search option i'm going to type path first like this and i'll create one keyframe i'll maximize this thing uh, so i can create this kind of strokes i'm not stroke but create one keyframe on path of each and every alphabet like this okay hit you so you can see make sure that uh, you have properly created one keyframe on path then i'll go to around let's say two second maybe and i'll create again keyframes on their path like this then i'll go to around one second and now i'll press ctrl r on my keyboard to bring my ruler and i'll move this over here and one over here like this okay now let's select all of them and lock this select all of them by hitting ctrl a and lock this and now we will unlock this t only i'll select this t and i'll create one keyframe on the path i'll select this much portion make sure to select your selection tool and by holding shift i'll move this over here select this and move this over here it's okay if it's not properly aligned with this text but make sure it should be somewhere around over here because we don't need to be precise uh, as that much you know, specifically for this animation then i'm gonna bring my y outline over here also and i'll create one keyframe and let's select uh, this much portion and i'll move this downwards select this much portion make sure to hold shift whenever you are do gonna do this procedure then i'll select uh, unlock this p i'll create one keyframe i'll select this much portion by holding shift i'll move this over here select this by holding shift i'll move this over here then select this o unlock this create keyframes key select this much portion by holding shift move this over here select this much portion by holding shift move this over here then we will unlock this g i'll create one keyframe select this much portion by holding shift move over here select this by holding shift move this over here let's bring this downwards now select this r un uh, unlock this create one keyframes on r select this much portion move this over here select this much portion and move this over here then we will select this a i'll create one keyframe i'll select this a portion i'll move this over here select this much portion i'll move this over here then we will unlock this p create one keyframes select this much portion move this over here select this much portion move this over here uh in the for this a or uh, there is another you thing you can do select this keyframes I'll select this much portion and I'll bring this over here only like that so we will get something like this okay so that looks quite good to me so let's select this edge now uh, unlock this edge create one keyframe select this portion move over here select this portion move over here then we will unlock this Y and I'll create one keyframe select this much portion move this over here select this much portion and move this over here so now if you hit play we will get this and this okay and after that uh, select all of them by hitting ctrl a go to the search bar and type stroke so we will get stroke width keyframe i'll create one keyframe at each stroke width let's maximize this and uh, so it would be easy to create keyframes for each and every one hit u now uh, select this uh, this portions also hit you so we can see the uh, now we have keyframes on stroke as well as on path so let's go to the last keyframe and we will again create one keyframe on strokes like this and in middle over here i'm going to choose stroke width let's minimize it for this y i'm going to choose stroke width let's say 15 uh, also for this one 15 15 15 15 
okay so now if i hit play i'll get something like this now select all of those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph make sure to hold shift and move the one handle over here and uh, select all of them again and move one handle over here so now if you hit play i'll get something like this uh, i think this t looks quite uh, totally upward so we need to bring this down so let's go over here we will create one keyframe at part I'll select this much portion and I'll try to adjust it over here like this okay and now we will go backward hit U hit page down button two times select all of them alt close bracket simply right click keyframe assistance sequence layers then hit ok and we will increase the duration of it like this and we will also increase the duration at the start and press alt open bracket to cut it out so we will get something like this and at 3 this animation is going to be end so i'll press alt close bracket like this i'll hit uh, ctrl shift c i'll call it as text animation and i'll hit ok i'll double click on it to open it and i'll hit n right click trim com to work area so it will trim this composition go to the main animation and make sure that your mount i mean this time indicator is at the last position and go to the time and i'm going to choose enable time remapping so simply click on it and i'll create one keyframe over here and i'll delete this keyframe like this and alt click and type loop out expression on it so we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop now let's select this i'll hit ctrl d mostly five times like i always do let's select this go to the presets panel and search for fill effect i'll first apply red color go to the fourth layer fill effect i'll apply green color choose third one go to the fill effect i'll apply blue color go to the second one and apply find edge effect on it and invert it and now hit page down button select this move this over here so we need to adjust the distance like this so if we hit play i'll get something like this okay but if you want then you can increase the distance between them also like this okay so i think we don't need to uh, invert that like this let's select this second layer hit ctrl d bring this at the top and let's move this over here again select this layer hit ctrl d bring this at the top and let's move this over here again and now select this go somewhere around over here select all of them alt open bracket and move this over here go to the start and hit play like this and now i'll bring my lines over here and this one over here so next time i can loop it properly like this go page down down again so whenever this gonna touch this lines this is my looping point so i'll hit and now and now if i play this animation i'll get this kind of looping typographic animation so this is how you can create this kind of typographic animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned